Hi, I'm John Brock, President of Cadbury Beverages North America, and today I'm here to share with you something about which we're very excited. Now, for some time, we've heard a number of our partners like you say, if only I had a program designed to properly train my sales force on how to effectively sell in new products, packages and promotions, shelf sets, displays and racks. A training program that will hone their skills of merchandising, rotation, and understanding the value of building relationships through breakthrough service. Now, after discussing the need for such a program with a number of you, we first looked at several off-the-shelf training programs. And while some of these addressed sale concerns in general terms, none of them really filled the need that you told us existed. So we decided to custom build a comprehensive sales and service training program from the ground up. We assembled a team of industry and training professionals. We gave them the assignment to develop such a program designed specifically for pre-salesmen, route salesmen, merchandisers, and route drivers. We consulted with you, our partners, every step of the way. We established a task force drawn from your ranks to help us focus on your real world needs. The result is what we feel will be the definitive sales training program in our industry. We call it Delivering Success. And it's ready now to start increasing your profits by improving your sales and your merchandising capabilities. Let's take a look now at our lead salesman, Chris Forbes, and a video clip from Module 12 called Problem Resolution. How often do your salesmen have to deal with a situation like this? When I first took this job, Nick Roberts told me that delivering products and managing space was the easy part. Working with store managers and clerks, that was the challenge. Some days I'm rolling along one stop to the next and wham, I run into an angry manager. And I gotta solve his problem now. Well, that's why we pay you the big bucks, Chris. You said you can't trust your supervisor. Actually, Nick's been a great help. He told me of a simple way to deal with the customer problems, and it works. Take yesterday. I walked into Grand Central, expecting to see our display of 12 packs built and waiting for POS. The chain's advertised special will hit the afternoon's papers. I'm sort of the new man there, taking over the account last month when we reorganized territories. Pete, what's going on? We're supposed to have this end display for the weekend promotion. I'm just doing what I'm told. Do me a favor and hold off for a couple of minutes. I'll see Mr. Franklin and find out what's going on. Walk softly, Chris. You guys think I got nothing better to do than wait around for you to fill my end dials. You know, if you don't want the display, there are plenty of others who do. Look, Mr. Franklin, we do want that display. Then why isn't it built? You know, you guys have a short memory. We made a deal last week. I gave you the display. You promised you'd have your guy here this morning at 7 to put it up. I got a store to run. This is about as bad as it gets. I had to do something quick or lose the display and spend months working my way out of Mr. Franklin's doghouse. If this had happened to you, what would you do next? To register your decision, at the tone, stop the tape and turn to the next page of your workbook. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? How would your salespeople handle this situation today? And how do such situations impact your business? Delivering Success is a comprehensive performance improvement system that presents a step-by-step -step process to enable your frontline people to seize opportunities from potential disasters. The program's broken down into 19 modules that are about two hours each and cover specific subjects. The first two training sessions cover supervisory skills that prepare your management team for learning and coaching responsibilities. Module 1, the service advantage, explores the value of service to building a long-term relationship and bottler equity in the trade. Module 2, the 10-step service call will focus their energies on what is mission critical in every account call. The space management Modules 3 to 10 give your people the fundamental tools to properly manage your brands at retail. Then Module 11 covers trade math. It'll have your people talking about gross margin, turnover, volume, and profits to your retailers and confidently negotiating displays, location, and retail pricing. Now that we've got the basics down, we turn our attention to Module 12 and problem resolution. 
in a DSD business like yours with a customer list the size of a small town phone book, misunderstandings will happen. When a problem does occur, we want your people prepared to face it head on, to take ownership, and to resolve it. And then finally comes selling skills, modules 13 to 17. This collection of modules will give your people the skills to make an effective presentation, listen, handle objections, and ask for the order. Speaking of selling, let's check in with Chris and his supervisor, Nick Roberts, as Nick coaches Chris on how and when to ask for the order. Okay, Chris, start building that display, but don't ask anything for me for a while. And don't let something like this happen again. I can start right away. I appreciate you working with me on this. Even for a July 4th promotion, going from a front-end display in the beverage section to 250 cases at the front of the store is a big jump. Think you'll listen? Well, for a minute or two. In the last five months, I've earned that much. Uh, everything I promised we've delivered, and then some. Such as? Well, for the last promotion, you had a tough time keeping that end cap stock. I had to make extra stops just to move up product from the back room. You appreciate that? Well, he expects that kind of service. But doesn't always get it. I think he knows we go the extra mile. Mm, that's a plus. Yeah. But I'll bet this is a guy you can't dance around with. So you make your sales points quickly and simply and right up front. Now, what do you plan to say? Well, first, there's the extra profits. Mm -hmm. I figure the larger display in a prime location should move at least 400 cases a week. Mm. Compared to? 240 cases for the last promotion. Mm. Well, that should get his attention. Yeah. And given the holiday, there's no way he or we can keep up with what'll be sold off an end cap. Mm. Less restocking time. Yeah. Good. And the location by the entrance. That's got to generate more impulse purchases. Mm. Well, you should get a decent shot. Now the big question. How is your timing? My timing? Yeah. In many sales discussions, there's a rising tide of interest. It's your job to close when that interest is at its high point. In my opinion, knowing when to close is more important than knowing how to close. And with a manager like this, it's easy to talk your way out of a sale unless you're listening closely. In preparing for the call on Mr. Franklin, I wasn't sure I agreed with everything Nick said. Is knowing when to close more important than knowing how to close? To discuss this further at the tone, stop the video and turn to the next page of your workbook. As you can see, the video is designed to encourage learning and skill development through role-playing by periodic pauses and group discussions. The skills and strategies your people will learn from the Delivering Success program will drive your business through leveraging the talents of your most important asset, your people. While our competitors will always be able to match prices or rush Me Too products out on the shelves, it is not so easy for them to equal your knowledge, service, and relationship advantages developed through a well-trained and motivated sales force. I believe strongly in the Delivering Success program because it's more than a collection of workbooks, videos, and leader's guides. Delivering success is a long-term process of performance improvement, performance that results in increased brand presence, share, volume, and ultimately profits. But for it to be truly effective, the program will need the commitment and support of everyone in your organization, starting with you. We need you, the senior executive officer, to personally appoint a branch trainer in each of your sales centers and set the tone for the importance of this program in your organization by your personal involvement. These appointed trainers will attend a regional two-day Train the Trainer seminar, where a professional trainer will teach them the fundamentals of adult learning facilitation, and presentation skills. We think it makes sense to assign this responsibility to one of your more senior and respected managers from each sales center to ensure that a training culture emerges. This will be a necessary component for the Delivering Success program to change behaviors. Your region manager will fill you in on more of the details concerning this and the Delivering Success program in general. If you're one of the people we've heard from who said, if only I had a program to train my sales force, delivering success is for you. And even if you haven't expressed this thought in so many words, you owe it to yourself to look into the potential for improving performance and increasing profits that delivering success represents. Starting with me, everyone at Cadbury who's connected with the delivering success program is committed to ensuring your success by helping you improve the performance of your organization. 
I've given this mission our highest priority because we know that when you succeed, we all succeed.